Cut. Hey everyone, I'm Romina and welcome back, the stars, to my vlog. Also, if you happen to be new here or are a repeat visitor, be welcome. Be sure to also look at the description below for all credits given. And with that said, good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. <laughs> and, um, yes, I'm going to be talking about games. Um, because this is not the typical background I use for this model. <laughs> I use it for a different model, which you've seen recently. <laughs> so, uh, if you see this background, you'll know I'll be talking about games. <laughs> or, in this case, uh, gaming launchers. Yes, there's a reason I'm going to be talking about that. So, I have been using a total of three different game launchers at this point. So, it has increased and decreased over the years that I've been playing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And yes, Minecraft has its own launcher, which has, um, well, it now has Minecraft Java, Minecraft Bedrock, <laughs> or Windows 10, or whatever they're calling it. It also has um, Minecraft Dungeons, and also Minecraft Legends, which I have not had the joy or displeasure of playing. I don't know how to feel about that one. But from what I've seen of it, Tower Defense game, I'm not really into Tower of Defense games. I'll play them on occasion, but I won't be sitting there daily um, defending a tower that goes nowhere. <laughs> so, that's Minecraft for you. One of the uh, old launchers I used to use is the ARC launcher. And yes, you can now find some of the old games that were once played on the ARC launcher in other launchers because um, the ARC launcher really is not the greatest. <laughs> And, uh, quite frankly, some of the games you had to play, pay for, you, um, now can play for free, I think. Oh, well. So, there's that. There are a few different, uh, launchers that are for indie games. But the one I use, uh, before it started going, uh, before it started having issues, was the itch.io launcher. But even if you go to that game store, you can um, download free games or keeps or you can use their launcher to do it. <laughs> That's if you aren't having problems. And, of course, there's good old games Galaxy that does the same thing. Though I haven't exactly used that, per se. Except for maybe 
Kill of the Jungle. That was one. <sighs> However, the ones that I use mostly are Steam and Epic Games. Now, those launchers are, are, shall we say, the biggest ones at this point? Because you can find a lot of different games on them. Now, the biggest difference between Steam and Epic is Steam has a lot of free games that may or may not be worth playing. But it also has some good quality games, too. And very seldom they might give away some of the games. Or have a really reduced price for sales that they may have going on. <laughs> now, with the Epic Games Launcher or Epic Games Store, they have a free game or games that you can get once a week, which is really lovely and all. And um, there's also this. They do have some decent free-to-play games, too. Not that I played them at this point, though I am planning on making sure to do that soon. <laughs> now, something I need to mention is that there is a, another game store that is connected to both Steam and Epic. <laughs> and that is EA or Electronic Arts. No, they are best known for The Sims, Sims 4, that kind of thing. But they're also really well known for other things like, oh, uh, what, what was it? Oh, that one Battle Royale game. I can't remember his name offhand. Uh, I'll remember it sometime. <laughs> but it's also known for a lot of Star Wars games too. Now, with all that said, Electronic Arts, or EA, used to have a launcher called Origin. So, Origin Launcher, but now they changed it to EA, which, I don't know, maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, but for the most part, all the games I play at this point come from one of three sources, or I play them through, and they are Steam, Epic Games, and itch.io. And uh, I discovered that, yes, I kind of sort of have a little problem. Mm. I kind of collect games, a lot of them. Not that I'll ever play the vast majority of them. However, if it's free, I might as well get it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are games I will not play simply because um, it's a little bit 
too violent or too realistic for me. So, for example, if it is a game about war, like, oh, I don't know, the Wolfenstein games, I will not play those. Nope. Uh, yeah, I won't play them. It, just, even when I played the original Wolfenstein, uh, within the first few minutes of playing it, I felt really sick to my stomach, so I haven't played games like that since that time. However, if it's killing monsters or zombies, that's a little bit different. <laughs> I don't get sick from that. Though I do like the farming games more and oh the simulation games just a little bit. Um yeah. But that's what I wanted to mention. And uh I think I will be doing yet another VTuber vlog next Sunday. Uh, so maybe, I don't know. But uh, yes, either way, I've talked to you off long enough. So I'm going to leave you all with this. If you have been enjoying my content, please feel free to leave a like and or subscribe. You can also leave a comment down below in the comment section. Be sure to hit that notification bell because YouTube doesn't always like to share. Be safe, be healthy, and as always, be true to you. Amina, signing out. I'm gonna go get some more.